owned Celica's when I was a kid. You know, as you get older, you tend to do things where you have to go to school, you go to work, um, kind of grow up. Um, but I never lost that passion or love for the Celica. So when I uh, finally thought about uh, things that I'd like to do again, I found this particular Toyota Celica liftback and restored it. I think for Toyota, the Celica was kind of the beginning of the production vehicle being in the, in the racing forums. You know, there are big competitors like Mazda, Datsun, um, you know, had a number of cars, the Skyline, the Datsun 510. But for, for Toyota, they originally started with the, with the Corolla, but then branched out into the Celica for the larger engines. I to build this Celica. I really kind of wanted to stay true to the era it came from and how we actually built cars back then. For example, the, the Hayashi racing wheels. Back in high school, I wasn't able to afford those wheels. And now I have a little bit more disposable income and I wanted to get those, so I did. Two of the key muscle cars that were out there were like the Ford Mustang and the Chevrolet Camaro. So the Toyota Liftback was actually modeled off the Fastback Mustang. But I do like the fastback design, the large rear window. I love the taillights. This particular car has the Japanese banana taillights. I also have the Japanese style smaller chrome bumpers and I really like those details as well. For this Celica that I have, it is lowered. I have 13 inch rims and tires on them. The engine is a fully built 20R, 22R hybrid. It's a bored out 2.4 liter 10.51 compression forged piston engine on the bottom side. On the top, it's fully ported and polished, stainless steel valves that are oversized, and stage four cam. It puts out roughly, probably somewhere around 185 horsepower. about uh, one year to restore the car completely. All the work on the car I did myself except paint and it all happened here in my garage. There, there are plenty of other errors that I made building the car, you know, having to do certain things once, twice. Um, the engine that's in here actually already blew up once. Yeah, I broke a cam and that was because I basically used the wrong size bolt to hold the cam down. After restoring the car and finally getting it back together, you know, when I first rolled the car out of the garage to kind of just get the car out in the sun and see some of the detail in the paint. It was a very rewarding feeling. The first time I kind of finished everything up, really fired up, the engine's running and, and taking it out the driveway and finally driving it out and taking it around the block. One side was a great feeling because you feel the sense of accomplishment. You hear the engine running, you, know, you hear this tone of the carburetors going. On the other side, you still have this level of anxiety because you just don't know. You know. Usually when something breaks, it usually breaks in like the first 10 minutes of when you build something. So once getting it around the block and getting the car running and driving it for probably about 15, 20 minutes, then there's an, you, know, you had the sense of relaxation. And then the excitement comes in that you really accomplished something. 